I'm Lindsay, the trial garden manager for Renee's Garden Seeds. And today I wanna to show you how we sow, grow, and harvest our yard-long beans. This is yard-long bean noodle king. And I really love this variety because it seems well adapted to a lot of different climates. Our climate tends to be really cool in the summer and these still grow and produce wonderfully. So I have my bed all ready to go. I have prepped my bed with a good amount of well broken down compost and some dry organic all purpose fertilizer. Our soil here in the trail garden is very sandy so I have to add a lot to it. If you ha live in a place where your soil has more clay content, you might not need to add as much, but I think you can never go wrong adding compost to your soil. Sandy it soil like ours, compost acts like a sponge to hold water so your plants don't dry out. And if your soil happens to be more compact and dense, compost will improve the texture of your soil, creating more air space for your roots to grow. So I have this nice little netting trellis set up. And so we're just gonna plant one row along the trellis. So open up my packet here, spill out my seeds. It's got nice, beautiful brown seeds. Got my digging knife here, which has handy measurements on it. And I'm gonna plant one row along the trellis right between my drip tape and the trellis, just four inches apart. So I like to space them out just like this and then go ahead and push them in one inch deep. And I cover them up and then I press down just a little bit so that the seeds get good soil contact. And so that when I water, they're not gonna float back up. So I'm gonna water in after I've sown and I'm going to start off with a really light sprinkle at first, just so that the water can evenly soak in. It doesn't flood the soil and float the seeds up and move, move them around. And from here on out, I wanna make sure that they never dry out while they're germinating. That's the worst thing you can do for germinating seeds is to let them dry out. So I have a nice stand of my yard long beans right here that are, you can see they're growing vigorously and they're starting to sort of flop over. So they really need to be trained up on the trellis. So I'll take the stems that are sort of laying down and then I just weave them through the netting like this and then help them along and eventually they'll grab on on their own and start winding themselves up the trellis. But it's good to keep an eye on them and make sure they're all training upwards because if you let them go and they're really big and long and flopping down, it's hard, just harder to handle them. And growing them upward on a trellis like this makes them really easy to harvest and easier to notice when they're ready. We're about two weeks later looking at our yard long beans and after our initial training you can see they sort of took over on their own and they're climbing beautifully up our trellis here. So these are going to be producing really soon so we'll come back and show you what we've got. Here we are with our maturing stand of Noodle King bean and you, as you can see they are coming on quick and I love these. They are just the most unique bean I've ever seen. You can see that they are about 18 inches long and they're going to produce a ton. And I love this variety because it's really acclimated to a not so hot climate. We tend to have really cool summers here at our trial garden and these still produce really, really well. So these are a really fast producer. I had sown these May 25th and we are approaching the middle of August. So it's only about 10 weeks of growing and then I already have mature beans. So this is an excellent variety. I highly recommend it. So if you'd like to try your hand at growing this great bean, you can find our seeds at reneesgarden.com. Thanks for watching.